Mr. President, fellow delegates, the long and meticulous study and debate of which this Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the product means that it reflects the composite views of the many men and governments who have contributed to its formulation. Not every man nor every government can have what he wants in a document of this kind. There are, of course, particular provisions in the Declaration before us with which we are not fully satisfied. I have no doubt this is true of other delegations. And it would still be true if we continued our labors over many years. Taken as a whole, the delegation of the United States believes that this is a good document, even a great document, and we propose to give it our full support. The 10th of December is now being celebrated in many countries as Human Rights Day. One hopes that this observance will spread to all countries because the more the day is celebrated, the more people throughout the world will be brought to think about the observance of human rights and freedoms within their own lands. Human rights must be applied to all human beings, regardless of race or creed or color. When they are applied, it will mean a growing understanding among the peoples of the world. One of the fundamental human rights is freedom for the individual. Freedom can never be absolute because it must be consistent with the freedom of others. But the more observance there is of human rights, the more freedom the individual will have. We are fortunate in this country, and particularly in the city of New York, to have the United Nations established in our midst. It brings close to us an opportunity to meet and to know the nationals of 59 other nations.